thank God first and foremost for my family, but then secondly, I'm, I'm have the privilege to do something like this. Holy crap. We're hunting with the United States Outfitters in New Mexico for my very first elk, and Wired Outdoors starts right now. Hello and welcome to Wired Outdoors. The leaves are changing and hunting season is finally here, but I'm fortunate enough every September to head out west and hunt with our good friends at United States Outfitters in New Mexico for elk. And I've been doing this, I've been going on these hunts for the past four or five years. Uh, whether I've been filming in the last three years, I've actually took the bow out myself and been hunting and I have yet to get it done on my first elk. So let's watch the show and see if I can finally get it done with my bow on my very first elk. Okay, it is the first morning of our hunt here with the United States Outfitters in New Mexico. I'm here with a familiar face gadget and we're talking here, keeping it down. Bulls already fired up all around us, so not talking too loud. What are we gonna do this morning? Well, we're doing, the first thing you can do is you come out here, is, is listen, is check the wind, and go from there. Yeah. And uh, try to pick a bull that's uh, upwind of you. So. Yeah, so we got them all around us right now. So they've had a ton of rain here. It's muddy, even now it's a little bit overcast, but it's supposed to get better throughout the week. And yeah, it's supposed and to dry pretty out. Nice. It's gonna dry out. So, so we're excited as always, so we're gonna get out, let's get out and get after it. Sounds good. All right. The action is starting fast and furious here. We're already, we've got three or four bulls all around us. We heard, we heard one raking down here. We're gonna run right at him. If he keeps raking, we'll run right at him because they're not watching. We'll see, but he's not too far. Good morning, it is day two of our hunt here with the uh, United States Outfitters in New Mexico. Hey, good morning. We are in our third morning of our hunt here with the United States Outfitters here in New Mexico. Good morning. We're here on the fourth day of our hunt with the United States Outfitters. Good morning. It is day five here with the United States Outfitters in New Mexico. So far in the first five days of this hunt, we've had an unbelievable hunt. We've had so many close encounters. But to say we weren't a little bit frustrated would be lying. You know, to be that close so many times, you know, 18 yards once, 30 some yards, the camera wasn't in the right place, or just little things that we weren't able to get it done. It was very, very frustrating. 
and the weather didn't help this week. Uh, you know, New Mexico generally pretty dry. We had rain almost every day. The one day we had all kinds of hail, and the bulls just, they're not quite kicked into the full-blown rut yet. They're bugling, but they're not really responding to calls. So here we are. It's the last day, and I'm hoping and praying that I don't go home for the third year in a row without my elk. Good morning. We are here on the last day of our hunt here in New Mexico with the United States Outfitters. Isaac's our guy today. We have been so close <laughs> so many times. So today's got to be the day. What are we going to do? Pretty much the same as what we've been doing. Yeah, we're going to chase these, these bulls that are down here. They're coming up from the bottom, so we'll see if we can get in on, on them and get some... Yeah. See if we can get as close as we can to uh, get an arrow in one. All right. We, and we've been, like I said, we've been so close today. I just, it's got to be the day. I know. Yeah, it all is. Right. So let's get it's after it. You can hear us whispering. There's bulls already bugling all around us. So let's go get one. just over this bluff what we're gonna do is Isaac's gonna back up a little bit we're gonna try and use the shadows get down as close as we can he's been raking we're gonna try and sneak up on him um, while he's raking and get as close as we can see if we can get a shot so we'll be as quiet as we can see how close we can get Yeah. I don't know. Wow, I can see us. <clears throat> that happened so fast. We've been working that bull, and literally the sun is right in my eye. I'm not sure where I hit him or I have to watch the footage. I think I'm a little bit back. I wasn't sure the yardage, really hard to judge. I was guessing. 40, but he might have been a little bit farther. I don't know. Let's look at the footage. I hope. Finally. Okay, we're at the spot uh, where we shot it. The, the funny thing was, was Isaac was actually had to lay down because he started, he finally broke and came up over the hill after we, we were set up forever. We left, we went down and he finally broke. You had to hit the deck. He's laying down. He didn't even think we'd be able to shoot. He actually got to watch the arrow enter him and we have pretty good blood right away we think we're a little bit back i ended up marking it off i held my 40 it's a 45 yard shot so it was a little bit farther it was hard to judge had the sun i mean right smack dab in my eyes but hopefully we'll get this bull what do you think yeah i think so i think we'll just track him see if we can find your arrow see what exactly what type of blood's on it yeah okay we found the arrow and I don't smell any guts, and this is all bubbles, which looks like lung blood, right? Yeah. Yeah, so keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully he's not too far. Here. Here. 
here he's going. Down. He didn't go what? 100 yards? 120. Oh. Oh. Check that beast out. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. He's a pig. Give me a hug, man. Oh. <laughs> Well, as you can see, we recovered my first ever elk. What an unbelievable hunt. Isaac, thank you so much. Thanks to United States. Yeah, thanks to United States Outfitters. This is why we hunt. And I can just tell you guys, if you've never done an elk hunt, there is nothing quite like hunting screaming bulls. We've been covered up in them all week. I mean, at first I thought my shot was back on this bull. Uh, I thought he was, you could see from the footage, I thought he was about 40 yards away. He ended up being about 45, but great shot the rage the new hypodermic man did its job right up through him he went what 120 yards yeah. 120 yards so like i said you know a couple things i'd just like to say first of all thank god for for my family i don't do this all the time but i just want to thank god for having an opportunity <clears throat> to do this because there's nothing quite like it and doug and i we busted our hunt for six days and it's very very emotional i apologize for uh, getting sentimental but this is why we as hunters do it, and it was an absolute awesome hunt, just an awesome bull, and I couldn't be more happy with this big guy. Thank you once yeah, again. That's awesome. Thank you. As you can see, I was obviously very emotional when I finally found my elk, and I've been fortunate enough to be on a lot of different hunts and take a lot of different animals, and I have never ever been that emotional where I was almost at a point of tears when we found my bull. And the only thing I can attribute it to is, we worked so hard. This has been a three-year quest. You know, we walked seven, eight, nine miles a day. You saw field staffer Doug Gardner. He was just as emotional as what I was. So I apologize to everybody for getting a little bit choked up. But that's what makes hunting awesome. Every hunt's different. The emotional reaction and how I reacted. And it was truly a blessing to be able to finally harvest my first elk with my bow. So we want to say thank you to United States Outfitters for having us. If you guys are looking for a great elk, combo bear hunt or just an elk hunt these guys are the guys to call so look them up online at www.huntuso.com give them a call guarantee you're going to have a great elk hunt and we want to thank everybody for joining us on wired outdoors and good luck this hunting season